Hello folks. Today we are going to be making Puerto Rican style sofrito. Sofrito is the base for a lot of Puerto Rican dishes. Not all of them, but most dishes like rice, rice and beans. Some of the uh, recipes that you're going to see on my channel um, are going to be Puerto Rican uh, recipes. So this is how I make it, the ingredients that I use. Um, I'm not going to show you how I chop them up, but everybody knows how to peel the garlic and I don't want to take up and waste a lot of your time. So I'm going to show you what the end product is though after we're finished is going to be these flavor bombs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go clean these all up and get them ready. We're going to have a red pepper, a green pepper. We have two, two medium sized onions. I have a half of a green pepper. Then we have cilantro. I'm going to use half of that bunch or most of it. I will show you when I'm ready to prepare it. And then we're going to peel the garlic. I'm going to use a full head plus those. You might think that's a lot for what you're making. But remember, we're making ice cubes. These are going to be little flavor bonds. They make a really good marinade as well. If you want to cut up some steak or some chicken, marinate them in it really really good so let's get to work and get this going hello folks and so now we're back i can tell you one of the things that i hate most about prepping is peeling garlic um there's on average of i would say there's about 15 cloves there i've chopped up the red pepper the one and a half uh, of the green and the onions i've got to wash the cilantro we're going to use a tablespoon of, of pepper. You can also use peppercorns. And then I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half or so of a little, just a little dash of avocado oil in. And you can use um, olive oil, any healthy oil or whatever oil you choose. But remember, this is about healthy food. And also for the garlic, the easiest way I find is to peel them is to crush them first, like with a knife. Um, and it's, it's still, it's, it's a long process, but, and I know you can buy them at Walmart, but it's whatever your preference or any other store that you can buy them already peeled. I just find that the fresh tastes so much better and adds so much more flavor, but it's whatever your preference is. Also, you can substitute the equivalent of about 15 cloves with whatever the minced garlic is that you can buy in the store as well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm using a Vitamix, so I've, I didn't have to chop these down very much, but what we want to do is make it so that it, it's a little bit, th not as thick, uh, but kind of like a salsa consistency, but thinner. But I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you as I go through. And I start off with the wet stuff on the bottom because um, you uh, in a Vitamix, because that's what's going to generate the water. And of course you've got the the uh, tool that you have on the Vitamix that you can, that, that's the benefit of using a Vitamix. Uh, for me, it's the easiest way to make it. But if you have a food processor or a blender, you can use that as well. So I'm going to load the stuff in it and then I'll come back and let you know what I do with the, the cilantro on the next part. So here we are. So that's the order that I put them in. That's for a Vitamix. So again, if you have a food processor, you don't have to worry about it. You can just Put everything in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um uh, pulse that a little bit if you have a vitamix you'll know what i mean but again this is you can use whatever tool you want i'm going to pulse that to make room for the cilantro and maybe blend it up a little bit just to make room for it and i i'm using about two-thirds um and i do include the the stems in them i know um, if you find that when you make it, if it's a little bit overpowering on the cilantro, then just cut back on the stems. Don't put as much stems in them. But I like the flavor of it. Um, it just reminds me of uh, my childhood. So stay tuned. When uh, you see the next part, we're going to show you where the Vitamix is from here. And then what I'm going to do now with the cilantro is going to be to wash it. And I'm, and I'm going to wring it out as if you were wringing out your shirt to get all the water off it. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be chopped up. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna wash the wash the uh, cilantro very carefully, and then I'm gonna wring it out as if you were you had a wet towel or something, and you're wringing it out. Try to get it. You don't have to worry about getting all of it, uh, but it it really is important to wash everything before you use it. So stay tuned. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So here we are. We're back. What I've done is I've rinsed it. I've I've wrung it out as I said, like a towel. And now I'm going to put that, and I pulse the Vitamix. Again, whatever tool you're using. Um, there. And again, as I said in my other videos, I always wash my hands between each thing. So what I'm going to do is blend that all up. Then I'll show you the consistency. And then let you know what we do in the next part to save it. So here is the consistency, folks. And I'll, I'll use a spoon just to... Just to show you. So that's the consistency that you want. Remember, we're putting all a bunch of cilantro leaves and stems. You want to make sure that it's all blended. So it's kind of like a thick, but not chunky. You don't want anything chunky in it. And people might be asking or wondering, well, why isn't there any salt in it? The reason is, this is a base. Your recipes that you're using could have salt, so you don't want things to be too salty, like you might be using garlic salt, or you can you can use the whatever salt uh, you know to your taste in the meals that you're making. So the next thing I'm going to do is fill it up in this tray to put into the freezer to make the ice cubes that I showed you at the beginning. No need to see me do that. So next picture you're going to see or film, it'll be ready for the freezer. As I was doing this, I just wanted to show you one more thing. I love these ice cube trays. Um, and, and just a little pro tip. You don't have to go in and pour each individual ice cube in. What I'm doing is I poured most of it in. And I've saved a little bit just in case. Well, actually not that much. But you, you, if you start around here, just even it out with a spoon. And just make sure that as you're going through and you finish that there's separation between most of these uh, before we put them into the freezer. So again, I just want, sorry to interrupt, but we'll be right back. So here we are, folks. So the ingredients that I used fit perfectly for this uh, ice cube tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that in the freezer overnight, and in the morning I'll transfer them to freezer bags. So, you know, just some suggestions. If if uh, you want to try it, I would I would encourage you to try it with rice. So if you're making like even the plain white white rice, put one of these ice cubes in. Uh, I would say per a cup of rice, and just include it with your liquid ratio. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to soften it first or melt microwave it down, you don't have to. But just just so you can get an example of what the flavor is like it. It's delicious. And again, you can use them for marinades, but any of the recipes that I'm making that are Puerto Rican style, will um, I'll, I'll put a link in there so that you can see how to make sofrito. It's very, very good. Trust me. I hope you like it. Jamie, signing off. Sorry, folks. I know I said I was signing off, so consider this an extra bonus. Uh, the, the remaining cilantro that I didn't use, I'm... I'm going to be making a rice and beans recipe uh, either tomorrow or the next day I'm not sure when but if you take it without washing it the important part is don't wash the cilantro wrap it in dry paper towel then put it in a freezer bag and put it in your fridge you'll find that'll last up to a week and it'll be just as fresh uh, as and you can try this with parsley and other leafy uh, 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 ingredients that you use as well. So again, I'm new to YouTube. I apologize for the lighting. I am getting additional equipment and I'm getting better so that I'm not really a good video editor. So I'm trying to, but I'm going to learn as we progress. But again, I hope you like the recipe and thanks for watching. Signing off again.